Here at Pathway to Tech we follow Apple and Google as they join forces to combat stalking via tracking devices. We have provided some screenshots from the forthcoming Android app as shown on the screen behind me. Apple and Google announced their joint work on anti-stalking measures in May 2023, with the first Android app expected to be officially released by the end of the year. Now according to Twitter user and Android journalist Ms. Hal Rahman, a series of screen grabs from the app have been leaked. In all, four images have been released with two demonstrating the use of manual tracking. One of those shows what the app displays when there are no tracking devices nearby, while the other finds an AirTag and a Pebble B clip. Manual scanning for trackers is obviously only of use when users have sufficient reason to suspect they are being tracked and so want to check. More generally useful will be the options for automatic scanning, and so also its automatic alerts. Apple launched AirTag to give users the peace of mind knowing where to find their most important items, said Ron Huang, Apple's Vice President of Sensing and Connectivity. At the announcement of Apple's partnership with Google. We built AirTag and the Find My Network with a set of proactive features to discourage unwanted tracking, a first in the industry, and we continue to make improvements to help ensure the technology is being used as intended. This new industry specification builds upon the AirTag protections, continued Huang. And through collaboration with Google results in a critical step forward to help combat unwanted tracking across iOS and Android. Neither Apple nor Google have commented on the screenshots. There's a catch, 22 with all these anti-stalking features being more prevalent. They make it easier for thieves to identify when an object has an air tag hidden in it and now they're more likely to find and destroy the air tag. Which means that the air tag is less likely to help the original owner find the object that was stolen. Were these ever intended to be anti-theft devices? I know some people use them for that, but it's not what Apple designed them to be, is it? But remember everything in this world is a trade-off. The harm from a stalker is greater than the harm from a thief. Does Apple use that as its selling point? No. Is it a reasonable use for finding an item that is lost because it was actually stolen? I think so. But obviously prioritizing people stalking or tracking you is of greater concern. You make your own judgment and please post it below. Thank you for subscribing.